Yep. Okay, this is Joe and Jeremy from YoChicago.com and NewHomeNotebook.com. Driving north on Hudson in River North. Uh, today we're going to go out in search of a few of the city's um, what are known, uh, for lack of a better term, as mixed income developments. Which pretty much means uh, there's going to be a mix of uh, for sale condominiums, affordably priced condominiums, apartments, and uh, CHA public housing. First one we're going to is just north of the Yoshikago offices. We're passing through uh, part of Cabrini Green right now, uh, just north of Chicago Avenue on our way on our way to Parkside of Old Town, which is located on the uh, southern side of Division Street. To get there from uh, our office, you uh, have to drive through Cabrini, and in fact, uh, Parkside Old Town is built, I, I believe, on some old Cabrini land. Um, all the developments you're going to see today are things that are <coughs> multi-phase developments, and uh, back when they were planned, I'm sure that uh, planners and developers were expecting things to Let's hang on left here uh, to kind of go along at a much quicker pace and uh, so far leave most of them are kind of stuck in their first phase waiting for uh, the market to clear up a little bit let's hang right right here uh, before they can move on so right here you'll notice that there's just uh, a huge empty space to the west which eventually is going to be a mix of mid-rises and townhomes, but for now is just undeveloped space. We're coming up on what, uh, what relatively little there is of Parkside of Old Town. There are three or four uh, condominium and, mid and uh, apartment mid-rises that front Division Street, and then a few, uh, few rows of row homes or townhomes here on Elm. We're on Cleveland right now. You'll notice over here we have some townhouses to our left and to our right. And then over here uh, is going to be one of these mid-rise apartment or condominium buildings. Let's see here. Turn right. We're at Division Street now. This is the old sales center. They've since moved into one of the townhomes here. One of the things that I did before uh, I left is I went to each of these websites, each of these development websites, and uh, printed off the sections in which the developers uh, and sales agents describe the area of town in which these developments are located. Yeah, it's hanging right. Um, it's always interesting to see how uh, neighborhoods are advertised and uh, how closely uh, they may or may not resemble what you actually see around. In a lot of the cases of these mixed income developments, the descriptions probably represent more of uh, wishful thinking on the part of um, on the part of the CHA, City of Chicago and these developers, and may someday really be an accurate description. What we have for Parkside of Old Town is a paragraph that says, in a place where new, <coughs> oh, excuse me, in a place where great city neighborhoods come together, you'll find a true gem, the creation of a new community of elegant townhomes and condominiums. In a location surrounded by the Gold Coast, River North, Old Town, Lincoln Park, and Bucktown spanning eight city blocks and including nearly 800 homes, this great new Chicago neighborhood 
is in a class by itself. Yeah, I could say that. <laughs> it certainly is. I'm sure that there are a lot of buyers uh, who look at these places and rightly or wrongly say that uh, they don't want to live next to not only renters but live in developments that have public housing and the, the whole idea behind these is to um, facilitate some integration both among uh, uh, public housing residents and uh, people who are owning their own homes and we've seen just even recently in the news reports at uh, a few of these places where you have some clashes or, or it's more of sort of passive aggression more than anything uh, between condo owners and CHA residents at these places where it really seems like people are not communicating not um, they're not hanging out together frankly and um, you have condo owners who are complaining about uh, what they perceive as noise or trouble stemming from the uh, the CHA homes. You have CHA residents who feel like uh, condo owners are not making the attempt to, uh, to develop a community. And, you know, it's probably somewhere in between in a lot of these cases, or, um, you know, a little bit of both. So right over here to our east, in this Finston area, I believe is where another mid-rise, apartment mid-rise is going to go. You can see lots of uh, storage containers and equipment back behind that fence and um, I believe that the apartment complexes are probably the first priority right now. Uh, yeah, just cycle around here one more time. A couple of high-rises from Cabrini right over there to the west. And again, here this is Larrabee Place, is the name of this particular building. These all have names. This one may be like the Cambridge. Um, I believe that this one up here, which we've passed before, it's coming up, is called the Hudson. Um, that's really it. And then you have some townhomes. Uh, we've shot some video here before and some photographs. You can look on yoshicago.com and our YouTube channel, yoshicago, or youtube.com slash yoshicago1. Uh, to see more of that. 